Hey guys, so for today's walk I want to try something different. I've had multiple requests to put a camera on Gage. And the only way I can figure out how to do this with his collar is that I saved in each GoPro box. You kind of get like a mount thing and I saved that piece. So I think maybe I can jury rig this piece here and figure out a way to connect it to his collar. So let's give it a try. So there's what we've ended up with. It's kind of flexible. It's a, like a malleable plastic, so I'm hoping it doesn't break. I'm going to have to keep a close eye on them. I don't want to lose my GoPro. But uh, it should work. There we go. You don't even know you got one on you, eh? Oh, good boy. Let's go for a run. Just a quick reminder before we start today's adventure, guys, check out unfrequentedworld.com for all the beautiful nature, artwork, photography that I do of these very woods that we explore. So thanks for supporting me. That's better. All right, so you guys have asked for it. You're gonna get sick of the footage. I can tell right now the GoPro is just bouncing around. There he goes. Come on, buddy. Let's go do a trail camera run. <laughs> Good thing the camera is facing the other way. I am super curious to see what kind of footage we're going to get from this. I'm betting it's going to be 36 minutes of unusable bouncing around, make me sick, jiggles. But eh, you never know, right? It's an experiment. I'm also apprehensive that I have to keep checking him every minute because if he loses that GoPro, it's going to be impossible to find. He can go a long ways in about a minute's worth of running time. So here's a new interesting one right in my very own backyard, guys. This was never here before. Did it just randomly fall out of a tree and land here? It is pointing directly back towards my house. My house is right there. So I don't know, is that a random act of nature that it just fell out of the air and landed sideways in a tree? I don't know. That's going to be some great footage you guys are getting down there on the GoPro. And I think this is new as well. A couple of bendovers right there. I don't remember seeing that. Still only 100 yards behind the house at this point. Hey, hey, hey! He's trying to rub the GoPro off. He does that when we put, hey! When we put his walking collar on him, he doesn't like it. So no, he doesn't go that far from me, 100 yards, 200 yards maximum, and then he always comes running back. The hope is that he goes over the hill or around the corner and sees something that disappears before I get there. Now, it's gonna be pretty jiggly and bouncy, so are we gonna be able to, I don't know. We won't know until we look at the footage. So, no change in our apples. They're still hanging here. They're actually starting to rot. We're just gonna leave them.
So for those of you that watch the channel regularly, you might have noticed this section of woods we're in right now is not one I'm normally in. Um, there are no trail cameras set up here right now and I don't come up this way. So this is a new area. I'm just looking for new signs and sticks and structures and whatever today. So this little spruce here is snapped off again halfway up. Right there. So my question is why there are three more growing right here. They're not snapped off. Well, there's a dozen more growing right here. There, there, there. Why is only one snapped off? And the spruce is over top of the log, so the log didn't come down and knock the spruce down. No idea. Here's a few more spruce that have been pushed right out of the ground. They're not snapped off. One here, and one there. So I hadn't really planned on coming up to this section of woods and I don't have my phone, I don't have a compass, I don't have a GPS, I don't have anything. So I'm just kind of paying very close attention to where I'm going here. We're probably about a mile away from the house right now. So you have to be careful that you can get back, right? And like I say, this is a section of woods I don't frequent, so super careful. Here we can see where the rabbits have not all the bark. That's that little spruce there. There's a couple of really old chairs, 50s, 40s, somebody was probably deer hunting back here. Many, many years ago in this nice little clearing right here. And they left those chairs here. We can actually see they had a blind here. There's the remainder of the blind. There's a few pieces of wood left here. Um, this one's burnt on the end, but you can see a bit of a structure here. There's a, a bolt on a piece of wood right here and some screws. So yeah, hunting blind for sure. So when I'm out here, it is an exercise in paying attention. 
all these structures that we find, I look over very carefully to make sure there's no little pieces of rope or a screw or a nail or any sign that man has built this. I don't know why they would build a little teepee structure in the bush. We never find that, right? When we find something like that blind in that clearing back there, it's very evident that that's man-made. Big grouse. Big rooster. So I just saw a great big old rooster, uh, male partridge here running with, all puffed out with black. I don't know if we got him on the camera or not. Then I heard a knock behind me. I don't know if we caught that on the microphone or not. And as I turn around here, I can see something strange. I don't know if it's on a stump over here. I'm gonna turn you guys around. I have not walked over there. I don't know what this is. It definitely looks out of place. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. What is this thing right here? See that? Is that a rock sitting on a stump back there? Okay, so I think it's just a bunch of rocks that are stuck in the ground and when this tree fell over They went up in the air with it. It looked odd from back there, but I believe that's natural Gage agrees You can see the wild game trails Right here, when they cross these mossy rocks, they leave a nice trail. So I think unfortunately for me guys, I now have to go home and watch 50 minutes of Gage shaking and bouncing that camera around to see if there's anything interesting on it. So I'm gonna put a good chunk of it here for you guys. I'll edit out and give you the smoothest, best parts. Anything, if, if there's anything strange on there, we'll leave those in there. Um, and I can tell which parts of the video you guys watch and don't watch, so you better watch it because you requested it. Thanks for watching guys, we'll catch you in the next adventure.
go in this nice little clearing right here. pieces of wood left here. Um, this one's burnt on the end. So you can see a bit of a structure here. There's a, a bolt. A piece of wood right here and some screws. 